Hey everybody, what's going on? It's been kind of a weird week for the Montreal Canadiens, considering that the season is coming to an end. There's been so many injuries for this squad. You have somewhat of an AHL lineup playing. You have new entries in the lineup. You have new players emerging as young talent for this squad, like a Raphael Harvey Pinard, who we're going to get into in this video. You have Sean Farrell's debut with the Montreal Canadiens. There's just a lot to talk about, and let's dive into that right now. First, let's get this out of the way. Stick taps to Sean Farrell on scoring his first NHL goal and just his second career game for the Montreal Canadiens. It's probably not how we drew it up on the scoreboard, but they don't ask how, they just ask how many. So it's important that we recognize Farrell for getting his first in the National Hockey League and just having the confidence to sign with the Montreal Canadiens. There's this kind of stigma around players that go to Harvard that they don't honestly sign with the team that drafted him and Farrell kind of bucked that trend along with some others this year. So I think it's important to recognize that the Montreal Canadiens have a very strong developmental foundation in place now and Farrell is just creeping the edges of what he could accomplish in the NHL down the road. This is a very intelligent hockey player. He went to Harvard, was an economics major, so I think it's safe to say he's a smart person in general, but he's just a very smart hockey player with a smart hockey IQ. He's quick, he's agile, he moves the puck very well. He's going to be a playmaker likely at this level, but he can also score and find the back in the net. He just has a lot of deception to his game. I think he's going to be a valuable piece of what this Montreal Canadiens team is building. Now, I think it's important that we also recognize what Raphael Harvey Pinard has been doing for the Montreal Canadiens just since he's been called up from the Laval Rocket. This is a player that has 14 goals on the year for the Montreal Canadiens, which is fourth in scoring. Take that however you want because the Montreal Canadiens just don't really score at a high level, so that's not really an impressive feat. But 14 goals and just his entire tenure as a Montreal Canadian this season is impressive in itself, and he's proven to be an NHLer. We don't really know what his ceiling is or where he's going to fit in. We know that his nickname has often been tied to Brendan Gallagher as Laval for this Montreal Canadiens team moving forward and I do believe that he can play a similar role but there's a lot of differences in their game as well but like you saw in a few times this week he's not afraid to get in front of pucks block shots do whatever it takes to win hockey games and that's the kind of player you want on your roster and someone that Martin St. Louis clearly appreciates having on his roster as well he's someone that can get any line going he's always in the fight he's always trying to drag his teammates into the fight and he also has some sneaky good puck skills and I think that can be a valuable part of what this Montreal Canadiens team is trying to do. He's got some decent hockey IQ as well. And he just has an overall NHL persona about him. And I think he's going to find a successful career in the NHL. I'm really not sure what his ceiling is as a player. I don't think he's ever going to be a considerable top six forward option for this team if they want to be in a contending window. I think he's more of a third or fourth liner that can contribute offensively and bring a two-way style of play to the equation. I think he has value to this team. He's going to be a valuable piece depending on how they consider him moving forward. But right now, it's hard to see him not finding his way onto the roster to make the team next season and at least start in the starting 12 as a top 12 forward for this Montreal Canadiens team. I think it's important we recognize what he's been doing right now. He's got a big off season ahead of him to build off of what he's doing right now and solidify his spot. But if everything he's showing us right now has anything to tell us about what he's going to continue doing in the NHL, that's that you should bet on this player and bet on him to continue making an impact at the NHL level. That's it for me today from Cook's Corner. As always, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of Sean Farrell's first two NHL games and what you think the potential ceiling is for Raphael Harvey-Pinard. I'm Zach Cook. We'll see you later.